Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading. What karma are they currently facing for uh, cancer? Uh, you could apply this to any of your placements. Uh, this is going to be for February 2022. So we're going to take a look at um, uh, someone that you're dealing with. Uh, we're going to see how this person did you dirty. Um, this could be a past, uh, present person. Um, and then we will see what karma they are currently facing or will face moving forward. Um, you could apply this to anyone, uh, a partner, an ex, a friend, a family member, a co-worker. Uh, just apply this to your, to your own unique situation, switch roles if you want. Uh, if this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Um, let's see what else. Uh, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Um, give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Uh, share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. For those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, so Cancer, let's get started. Uh, tell me about the person that Cancer is dealing with. Past or present person. How did this person do Cancer? Really keep in mind that this could be karma that you're cycling through, okay? So like I said, just apply this to your own unique situation. How did this person do Cancer Dirty for February 2022? How did this person do Cancer Dirty So whoever this person is, I feel like this person created a lot, a lot of conflict. I mean, this individual was probably really mean about it. This person created a lot of jealousy. Um, this person made you feel inferior. Uh, this person, in a way, I feel like this person made you feel bad about yourself. I feel like this person made you feel foolish in a way, okay? The problem is I feel like this person is a foolish fool themselves. Um, I feel like this person, you know, uh, was very controlling. Uh, I feel like this person might have been an individual that had a double standard where this person didn't allow you to hang out with your friends or something like that, you know, and this person, you know, could do whatever they want, okay? Um, this is interesting. I feel like this person just didn't really care about your feelings. It could be a situation where, you know, you could have caught this person exploring other options and this person was just like, eh. And then this person might have been, you know, comparing you with other people and stuff like that. Oh, why can't you be more like this person? Or like, why can't you be more like that person? Okay, let's see what else we have here. So we have um, Aries energy uh, with the Fool and the Emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries. Uh, that fool could also be Aquarius, okay, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You could be dealing with any of those energies. You might have those energies in your chart. Five of Swords. We have the Hierophant, King of Swords. We have the Two of Pentacles, all right, the Hierophant. You know, this person, I feel like this person just has really bad morals. Bad moral compass, uh, poor core values, Two of Pentacles. You know, this person could have been juggling you at some point, okay? Um, you know, I feel like this person made a lot of, uh, a lot of excuses, you know? You know, I feel like this person, you know, could have made excuses of why they couldn't hang out with you because, you know, this person could have lied to you and said, oh, I, I was at work, but I, I feel like in actuality, this person might have been going on dates with people here. Look at how this two of pentacles is in this picture. There's a guy and a girl here just, just kind of having a picnic. All right, um, Knight of Swords, Page of Swords, 
Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. You know, I feel like this person was really controlling. You know, I feel like this person created these narratives. I, I feel like you could have been under this person's spell. This person was spying on you. Uh, this person might have had a low jack on your car. This person had uh, made you turn on their uh, find your friend app on your iPhone um, all the time and they would, you know, maybe block their signal. I'm feeling like a very one-sided energy, a very domineering, a dominating energy. Uh, tell me about the fool. <clears throat> wow, nine of swords. This person just created a lot of conflict, a lot of stress in your life. You know, I do feel like this person might have some um, issues themselves, and I feel like this person projected a lot of their issues on you. Uh, tell me about the um, emperor. I mean, that nine of swords is, uh, represents, you know, stress, anxiety, depression, mental health issues, okay? Uh, emperor. We have the six of cups. So I feel like you've been dealing, you know, it's, see, look at, this is interesting. You know, I feel like this person had, could have possibly had another family, okay? I don't know. I feel like, the, you know, this person could have had another family or something like that. Or is dealing with another family, you know, maybe dealing with an ex that, ha that had um, another family uh, prior to you. So I feel like this person could have used that as uh, sort of like a, like a tool in their arsenal. You know what I mean? Um, seven of Cups. We have the chariot here, cancer energy. You know, it seems as though this person could have been with you, but at the same time also maybe keeping an X wrapped around your fingers here, okay? Uh, I do feel like this person might have been a little bit out of control, even to the point where this person was abusive too, okay? Uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, what karma is this person facing or will face moving forward? For February 2022, keep in mind that you can apply this to any replacements, even your nose too, okay? I do feel like this person with the Six of Cups here might have some sort of childhood issues. Perhaps uh, mother issues or daddy issues or something like that. <clears throat> Five of Cups. Three of Swords, wow. This is a beautiful deck, by the way. Um, I've had this deck for, I don't know, for like a couple of months. This is my first time using it. Uh, five of Cups and a Three of Swords. Now, this person could have some regrets for hurting you, perhaps hurting other people along the way. We have the Strength card, Leo Energy. Could be dealing with the Leo. And the Four of Swords here. Seems like this person is really taking some time or building the courage to address their issues here, okay? Uh, King of Pentacles. And Justice. Someone here could be facing their karma for being a total dickhead i feel okay nick because now this person's feeling alone uh perhaps this person has a history of people walking out of their life that's a karma that they face capricorn energy taurus virgo with the king of pentacles libra energy with the justice card here um let's see what else we have here five of cups yeah, the King of Cups. Interesting. Okay, so we have almost every single king. We, we're just missing the King of Wands, okay? So I feel like this person wore a ton of different masks in, in front of different people. And I feel like this person lacked a lot of consistency, um, you know, regarding, you know, their personality. Maybe it was a bit all over the place. Uh, Three of Swords. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces are the King of Cups. All right, Queen of Swords in the reverse. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. So, <coughs> I mean, that King of Cups is Cancer energy. 
but you could place yourself where you see fit. Maybe you're this queen of swords here that does does basically does not want to communicate with this individual anymore. Okay, uh, strength. Seven of Swords. You know, I feel like this person has a history of really breaking people down by playing the mind games, by telling lies, by distorting someone's reality. This person distorts their own reality too. So, I mean, with the Seven of Cups there, uh, Four of Swords. And the Six of Pentacles. This person might be a bit of a freeloader, I feel. Uh, this person might be a bit of a taker, okay? King of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. We have some pairs here, you guys. Queen of Cups and the Tower. You know, I feel like, the, you know, people... I, I feel like people has cons consistently walked out of this person's life. And I feel like this person might be feeling the pain of that, okay? Might be feeling the pain of that. This person might not even express it too, all right? So, Cancer, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.